This is a UH-1H helicopter, otherwise known as a Huey, and you wouldn't normally see them landing at K-16 Air Base, located on the outskirts of Seoul. But it's here now as part of a demonstration from our Korean allies. Uh, that came out today with all of the aircraft that we don't normally fly as a part of our formation. But this demonstration holds a greater purpose than simply showing off the helicopters. How fast they fly, what kind of armament they might carry, uh, to better employ those assets and command and control a task force comprised of U.S. and Republic of Korean military forces. And the pilots aren't the only ones learning things. Uh, down here, our refuelers learned how to service these aircraft so that if we were doing a combined mission and one of their aircraft needed fuel and they flew into the FARP that our refuelers would know what side the ports are located on the helicopter. Captain John Paxton, part of the aviation battalion, was more than happy to share time with his Korean counterparts. And this is kind of that starting point where, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to meet someone face to face initially before flying with them just so you have a little bit more comfort when you're up there in the air. When all was said and done, Paxton left the demonstration very impressed. Uh, really their attitude, the, Korean, the Koreans' attitude that they want to, you know, be on our team or our, us on their team, you know, one team is so important and it's great to have teammates like this. And it's teamwork like this that has helped the U.S. and ROC Alliance stay strong for over 50 years. I'm Specialist Ryan Harris, K-16 Air Base, Korea.